So one option to add more by customizing page protectors is to just find a layout that is already in your album or you've just made a page and you really have more photos that you want to add to that story and you have enough of the supplies or the, the colors that you've used to make something else go along with it. And then you just take another page protector and it could be any size or any um, divided type or anything and then see what will work with the photos you have and the space that you um, have free on the layout. So I have a large photo here and all of the embellishment and journaling is in one area and I have six more photos. They're all four by six and they're all landscape that I'd like to include. So what I'm going to do is start with a divided page protector from American Crafts which would normally hold six landscape photos on each side or four by six journaling cards, embellishment cards, whatever you want to add in those spaces. And if you cut this in half, you then have a six by twelve with three slots because it still has the ring, um, the ring binder piece on the side. But then you end up with this piece that seems like waste. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this part um, away for now and I'm just going to use the piece that would normally be waste. So you can cut a page protector with either your trimmer or scissors and I'm just cutting right down the middle and then this is a page protector I can use for six photos for a, a little interlude between two double page spreads and if this is too loose and the photos start to slip off then I would just close that with tape but because this side has the rings that's not really um, anything I have to customize so I'm going to set that one aside and that is uh, too easy for you you can do that no problem you don't need my help but let's look at what we would do with this one because this then might be something you would throw away. Now really there's a lot of potential here because look you can fold this up and make this into a little mini album that would sit on the page but unfortunately that doesn't really fit with the design here but it's just an idea for you to take away. But what I do want to do is include this on my layout as something that will open and close. So what I'm going to do is add all of my photos to the page protector slots. Now you don't have to use all photos, but I am today. You could um, you could put in title, journaling cards, memorabilia, anything you want, but just. The point is just to fill the spots and of course you could go back and embellish the photos individually if you like. Totally up to you because we're just looking at how the page protector works so the design style is completely your choice. I want to carry this embellishment and, and color theme through. What I've used for this is the Social Club paper pack from Cosmo Cricut and this is a collection um, it's not brand new, but it's not very old either. It's got this lovely rich blue, a, a mustardy yellow, a nice spring green, and then a hint of red. And I've used quite a bit of it already, but I just wanted to show you this line. It has this really versatile notebook paper, a lot of letters that you can either use as a sheet or cut out. Um, yeah, really nice set and uh, definitely a, a good deal at the store at the moment, so there you go. And I used some of these here and I've cut out a few more to add to the photographs. So I'm going to find a few spots. To add these in, I'm just add, adding them flush to the edge of the photo. And this one is a little large. I'm going to use this on the other side. But I know that it's going to be pretty big. So what I'm going to do is take this photo out, place it up here, and just um, trim off the extra. So at this stage, I've added my journaling, my embellishment, and I could add more and more to these photos, but I actually quite like the, the photos just to be able to be seen mostly for themselves. So what I want to do is for this to be able to attach here, instead of being something in the center of the album where it would um, fit on the rings, I want it to fit toward the outside of the album and flip toward the outside as you read the book. So what I need to do is attach it to the edge. This is also the open side of the page protector so it helps if I attach it here so that the photos won't fall out. And my secret to that is washi tape. 
So I'm going to line up the two page protectors, run the tape so there's a little bit off the edge, and then try and center the edge of this page protector so it's halfway th through the piece of tape. Slip a little bit. There we go. So here's the sticky side of the tape. Just pressing this all down. Then I line up the page protector here. Try and get them as even as possible. and fold the tape over. Make sure these ends go tape to tape so it's very strong. Cut off the extra. I do leave a little bit just so it keeps it stuck together. And then page will open and close. You can put another layer here if it seems like it needs a bit more strength. And then when I put this in the album, I just press this together. And because it's washi tape and not a normal sticky tape, it will unstick, open and close without any trouble. And it won't it won't just rip here or, or make it impossible to open because washi tape um, sticks, but it's not overly, overly sticky. It's also worth noting that some washi tapes stick stronger than others, so test it to make sure it's going to hold the weight of the page protector. Um, but this one is from, um, from the boutique here at, at Two Peas in a Bucket, and it sticks really well. I've used it on lots of page protector projects, um, and there, it, this comes in lots of different colors and patterns. So there are definitely some things there that you can use. Of course, a sewing machine can help you customize a page protector in plenty of ways. You can add more pages to the page protector by adding um, any other size you want and stitching along the side, or you can take a regular page protector and turn it into pockets. But you can also take a page protector that already has pockets, so I've gone ahead and put photos in here so you can see what's starting to happen here. And this is a page protector by American Crafts that's made for six landscape four by six photos. But I would like a, um, a line of boxes across the middle with smaller uh, smaller spaces instead of just two four by six. So I took this to the sewing machine and just ran a running stitch. Now I have one that's turned out well and one that hasn't and I wanted to show you um, side by side what they look like. So this is what happened and I'll just put a piece of paper underneath so you can see. This is what happened on this side when I just went to the sewing machine and roughly looked at where I wanted to go and tried to just use the ruler on my sewing machine to sew a straight line. That often works with fabric if you're used to sewing with fabric because you can you can follow the seam allowance and everything is a little bit easier to keep even. The problem is with a page protector there's nothing to follow. Everything is clear, everything is plastic, everything's a little bit slippery. So even though I thought I was doing a really excellent job of staying in a straight line, it's a straight line that actually goes on an angle and that's left me with a box that um, is not particularly square on either side. Now on the second one, this is much straighter, and what I did on this was to, before I went to the sewing machine, I took a ruler and placed it on the page so I got everything as square as I wanted it, made sure it was in the right place, and then I just took an embossing stylus, or you can also use a dull pencil. You want something that will leave a dent in the page protector without cutting through it. So I marked that line. I'm not using a pen because I then don't have to worry about it showing up. I'm just um, placing a dent in the page protector and then I stitched along that line. And this one is nice and even, much more straight. 
Now once I've stitched the pockets, I can add something here and I can add something to this pocket really easily because I still have that opening here. But how do I add something to the, the side pockets where I've closed them? The trick is to go in and add, um, add an opening. So what you can do is if you, if you really know what's going to go in there, you can actually put it inside before you stitch it and stitch it closed. It will be permanently inside there unless you were to cut the page protector and be able to take it out. So that's one option. But if you like to be able to move things in and out of the page protector and you don't want it permanently in there without ruining the page, then the other option is to cut an opening. So um, what you want to do is cut either side. You just want one of the four sides. It doesn't really matter which one and um, you want to cut it so that you can put your uh, photos and cards inside. Now this one I've done already and then um, you can see how how everything will go inside there and I'm going to do this one for you. Now I find the trick is to leave the photos in while I make the mark and you can do this with the stylus again or you can do it with the edge of your scissors so you just want to go down from one of the lines and I'm doing the top edge but you could also do the side and this first cut unless your scissors are ultra sharp is not going to cut through it is going to make this line it's almost going to perforate the page protector but not quite now, if you're really good with a craft knife, you can just follow this with the craft knife or you can even skip that step and use a ruler and a craft knife from the beginning. However, um, not all of us are completely skilled with a craft knife and so sometimes it's better to use scissors if that's what you're more proficient with. And so the next step, I find it's easier to not have anything in these pockets. So I'll take the photos out on that side. And then to get it straight, what I want to do is fold this in half and line up the markings. And then I'll just take my scissors. And now I'll be able to open that pocket. Also once you're happy with your cards, they can be added straight into the page protector. So these two actually fit together like this, but there'll be a gap once they're in the page protector. You can actually put a full card here and just kind of bend it to put it in between the two pieces if you prefer. And then you can add any other embellishment you want. I often put a page like this next to a page that has a lot of journaling and a title just to include more photos if I want and more images of the day. I find that I often will take a whole bunch of photos on one day because I'm just in the camera happy mood. And so I may end up with a whole bunch of photos, but I might make one 12 by 12 page to start with and then I'll add bits like this to kind of fill out the story. So this works for me, but this is something you could use in um, any sort of project. So if you want to have divided page protectors, but you can't quite find the right setup for you and your photos and what you want to include, you can just sew your own pockets. You can start either with a plain page protector or you can start with something that already has some pockets and then just add a few more. This week, your challenge is to get creative with page protectors. Try and customize them in either of these ways or an idea of your own. Plus, pop over to Two Peas for a look at simple page protector storage. Join us next week for the continuing adventures of Glitter Girl and the ongoing mystery of the scrapbooker behind the mask at twopeasinabucket.com. <laughs>